is old brake fluid we took out of a car right here. This is a infrared thermometer. But this one right there is old brake fluid. This brake fluid right here is actually called DOT3 brake fluid. I actually got this from Sam this morning. But this is DOT3 brake fluid that I've actually had and with the lid left off of it for a day or two in a shop. Does Kenny or anybody ever tell you not to do this in a shop? Why? Why wouldn't you want to leave that open in a shop like that? Do what? Contaminants. What kind? Water. Water. Brake fluid is very, the fancy word is hydroscopic. But all that means is it pulls the moisture right out of the air and sucks it in. We have done it at this school, but sometimes before I come over, I have uh, somebody around here uh, take some of this and put it in a jar or something, and we left it open overnight. And that's the brake fluid we use. We didn't do that today. I brought some of my own. But regardless, this is dot three fluid right here that was left open for a couple days. The one right behind it, which is right here, is this brand new dot three I poured out of here today that I got from Sam. And truthfully, the one on this side, the back one, right back here, is what we call dot four brake fluid. And this is an infrared thermometer, and it's just starting to heat up, but we're up to 107, 108 degrees. So it's just starting to get warm. Okay? Dot four will correct more, do more heat. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. You're, you're ahead of me, but you're right. Do you say that again? They have dot five now. They have dot five also. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. You're all ahead of me. Hang on just a minute and I'll get there. All right. Dot three brake fluid has been around for a long time. Truthfully, many years ago, there was dot one and dot two. I don't remember that. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Dot three has been around forever, and dot stands for Department of Transportation. And just like API certified their oil, we were talking about those insignias a while ago, well, car manufacturers have to have a way to certify brake fluid, and they call it DOT. So DOT3 means it met a certain benchmark. This brake fluid is up truthfully good. The boiling point of this brake fluid, let's see if I can find it real quick, it's probably about 370 degrees. Actually, boiling point's 284 degrees on here. 284 degrees is the boiling point of this brake fluid. So, so on the back, good thing that lid was on. <laughs> okay? It's starting to get hot. We're up to 140 degrees, so it's just starting to warm. But you can see them starting to heat up here and starting to get a little warm. What's going to happen here in a minute is, I left my whole train thought out. Dot 3 brake fluid has 284 degree boiling point. Truthfully, this is 512. Wow. Okay. He said there is some dot five brake fluid out in there is. Dot five brake fluid also has about a 512 degree boiling point. Dot five brake fluid is made totally different though than dot three and dot four. Dot three and dot four is made of glycol. Dot five is made of silicone, silicone base. Dot five has a huge advantage. If you would, I'm gonna look at that water. Look at that water. Yeah, look at that brake fluid on that end. It's boiling. It's bubbling. Look how the sides of the beaker is covered with water. Look at the dot three that was left open, and it's almost covered. It's starting to boil, and we're up to I got 186 degrees right now. But it's dot three that was left open. Look at all the water on the sides. The dot three sitting behind it that just came out of that container, it's not boiling yet, but it's starting to be cloudy. Everybody see that? That's because it's boiling the water or the moisture out of that brake fluid. Dot four, that's back here in this back corner, it's just sitting there. Remember, it has a 512 degree boiling point. Everybody okay with that so far? Yep. Okay. These are glycol based. Dot five is silicone based. Dot 5 has a huge advantage. It doesn't eat paint. Those two right there eat paint big time. If you spill those on paint, you don't have time to get it off. Yeah. Has to be a T Roadster sitting over here. <laughs> got a pretty good paint job on it. It probably got dot 3 or 4 in it. Probably. No, you got dot 5 in it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Do I'm I mean, proud of you. See how beat up the car is already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. 
I also have a show car, and truthfully, mine's got dot four in it. I wished it wasn't there. I should have my butt kicked. But, but that's the problem. Dot five will never eat that paint on that Roadster. Okay, or dot three and four does. That's the advantage. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around a little bit just so everybody can see the backside here. But look at dot three. It's got a lot of moisture on the side where dot four doesn't have a whole lot of anything yet. Dot four is not a rolling boil yet. Just starting to bubble a little bit where dot dot three is, where dot four is not doing anything yet. It's hot. 222 degrees is what I have right now. Okay, on the whole, that's the whole plate. The whole plate. If we got one hot plate heating everything the same, actually, we've taken all the variables out. Okay. Now, so, so the is that important? Is having a higher boiling point important on brake fluid? Yeah. Why? Or you say you can you be harder on it and not boil. It'll take more abuse. It'll take more abuse. Does brakes get hot? Yeah. They do. Yeah. That brake pedal doesn't ever get hot. Four is Where do they get hot at? Brake pads. Come on. Pads. Come on. Pads. 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 On the calipers. Really hot. Yeah. Burn your fingers if you touch them sometimes, right? Yeah, I've been burned on them. Your dot four is boiling. Dot four is starting to boil a little bit. And your dot three dot three is not. Hope I got them in the right order. I probably didn't. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I'm sure I didn't. I guarantee I mixed them up. Because you can see that one just starting to. But dot four is starting to boil. Yeah, I obviously got them mixed up when I put them on the table. That's what I get for being in a hurry. Temperature's way up there. Now. Yeah, temperature is... 280 degrees, so it should just be boiling, which that's dot three and that's dot four. And you can see dot four starting to. I'm going to turn this off so I don't blow beakers up. Every once in a while I'll blow one of them beakers up. They're medical beakers, but you can blow them if they get hot enough. So the question on the test is this. Dot four brake fluid has a higher or lower boiling point than dot three? Higher. Higher. Question also on the test says this, and I haven't told you this answer yet, but I'm going to see if you know. It's okay to mix dot five with dot three brake fluid. Why? Because if I had dot five and three, wouldn't that make four? <laughs> I'm asking. Plus, they're different compounds. They're different compounds. You're right. You can't mix them. Okay? I had somebody ask me that one. Well, it mixed up with dot four, doesn't it? No, it don't work that way. But seriously, but you cannot mix dot five with anything. Dot five in that T Roadster over there, he has to put dot five in it every time he puts brake fluid in it. He can never put dot three or dot four in that car. They won't mix. They won't work right. Okay with that? Any questions on that? No questions. God, that was easy. There are some brake parts with dot five that did it. The number one user of DOT 5 is true for the United States Army, although they're getting away from it, they're going to DOT 4, and the reason they did it is all over the boiling points. Now DOT 4 boiling point is the same as DOT 5 are actually what we call super dry, but dot four brake fluid has a, this has a 512 degree boiling point, the same as dot five, so the boiling point's no longer an issue. So the Army's starting to get away from it. Although they are still the number one user in the United States. The Army does, the other branches don't. Okay with that? Okay, Ben, what did I forget? I'm sorry, yes sir. They all still absorb moisture. Though, they right? still all absorb moisture. So Actually, dot five doesn't absorb moisture as bad as dot three and four because of the